Hello again. It's Monday, February 18th, 2019. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. A big crowd turned out for the annual Martin Luther King walk in celebration of his life, held on Sunday in both downtown Clifton Forge and later at the Masonic Theater. Various speakers praised Dr. King's vision and wisdom at the event, which had to be delayed from its original January schedule. The George Washington train show and related events at the Armory and at the CNO Railway Heritage Center proved popular this weekend. Here is railroad enthusiast Ken McNally speaking with the Journal on Saturday. Clifton Forge Mayor Jeff Irvin and some youngsters very much enjoying a ride at the Heritage Center. My dad worked Pennsylvania River his whole life. When I was growing up, he brought my brother and I our first train in 1947. We still got it and it still runs fine. Yes, they, they do good here. They bring in people from all around the state, out of state, Forest, Louisiana, Florida, everywhere. I was talking to Brandy and she gave me a list of, I mean, they just come from everywhere and we're proud to have them here at the Armory and, and in Clinton Forge. And now a word from our sponsor. In the Department of Interesting Events comes the news that the Clifton Forge Public Library will be sponsoring a Black History Month program on Monday, February 25th, entitled Remembering the Jefferson School. Teresa Johnson, a longtime local educator, will preside over the program, which will begin at 6 p.m. Important public meetings are set this week. This evening, the Allegheny County School Board meets at the Jackson River Technical Center at 6 p.m. And then tomorrow at 4.30 p.m., the Covenant City Council will hold a joint session with the Planning Commission to discuss the updating of the city's comprehensive plan and to have a discussion on how to go about recruiting a permanent city manager. And we'll be right back. Let's take a look at some upcoming events. And now for local obituaries. Mildred Pitsenbarger, 83 of Buena Vista, died last Thursday. Floyd Wickline, 89 of Alderson, died last Friday. Thomas Reed, 90 of White Sulphur Springs, died on Saturday. And Grover Higgins, 72 of Clifton Forge, died on Sunday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Tuesday, it should be partly cloudy with scattered showers. High of 45 and a low of 30. And on Wednesday, cloudy with rain and snow. High of 36 and a low of 36. And on Thursday, mostly cloudy with rain. High of 50 and a low of 37 degrees. And here's your editor's favorite segment. There's only 30 more days until springtime in Virginia. And that's the way it is on Monday, February 18th, 2019. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.